In this video, you will learn how to round to the place of the underlying digit. So for our first example, we have 7,451, and we want to round to the place of the underlying digit, which is this four that's in the hundreds place. So what I like to do is circle the digit that we're rounding to and look next door. So I'm circling the four, and I'm looking at the digit next to it, which is a five. So when we think about our rounding rules, if the digit next door is five or more, it tells the circle digit to go up one. But if the digit is four or less next door, it tells that circle digit to stay the same. So since the digit next door is a five, it has the power to bump the circle digit up one. So that four becomes a five. Everything after the circle digit becomes a zero. So the five becomes a zero and the one becomes a zero and everything before the circle digit stays the same always. So 7,451 when rounded to the nearest hundred will become 7,500. Let's try some more problems. So for the next one, we have 7,486 and we're rounding to the underlying digit, which is a seven in the thousands place. So we circle the underlying digit and we look next door. And our next door neighbor is going to tell us if we have the power to bump the seven up to an eight or tell the seven to just stay a seven. So the next door number is a four, which is four or less. So I say four or less, let it rest. So that seven is going to stay a seven. And everything after the seven will become zeros. So the four, the eight, and the six will become zeros. So 7,486 when rounded to the nearest thousand is 7,000. Let's try the next one. We have 290. That two is underlined, so we're gonna circle the two, look next door, and we have a nine, and the nine has so much power, so five or more, add one more. That two becomes a three, and everything after becomes zeros. So 290, when rounded to the nearest hundred, becomes 300, because that nine had the power to bump the two up to a three. Okay, let's try two more. We have 925,712 and we want to round to the underlying digit. So we're going to circle that two and look next door. And we have a five. The five has power, five or more, add one more. So that two becomes a three. Everything after the circle digit becomes zero. So the five, the seven, the one, and the two become zeros. And anything before the circle digit stays the same always. So when rounded to the nearest 10,000, this becomes 930,000. Let's look at the next one. We're going to circle the eight and look next door. The one has no power. So that one tells the eight, stay an eight and everything after it becomes a zero. So we have 80,000. When rounded to the nearest 10,000, 81,382 becomes 80,000 because that one next door is four or less. So we let that eight rest. It didn't have enough power to bump the eight up to a nine. It stays an eight, so 80,000. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it helped. Check out my Teaching Exchange Classroom for worksheets and centers. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos.